I will start again from this fundamental point which I made in the last two videos that there are two facets to us one wants to have boundaries one wants to be within the boundary and find comfort within the boundaries another feels limited within the boundary another feels suffocated and wants to remove those boundaries the one that wants to have boundaries pertains to our physicality and there it is fine physicality needs a boundary and need, needs protection your house needs walls but this is wrongly e extended to all the other facets of what we are the other facet of us wants to erase these self-imposed boundaries and be limitless it does not like this me and the rest division a boundary means a division that I am within a particular boundary and the rest of it is not me so this feels limited and it wants to dissolve the boundary it does not like this division of me and that and why does this division sustain itself why does it continue the root cause of it is that attention and energy is invested into both the divisions it is not concentrated on one of them attention and energy are invested it is divided into both the divisions and this tendency of dividing the attention is so subtle it is so devious sometimes that we may not even notice that it is happening so even if we come into the spiritual path when we come into the spiritual pursuit the division may still continue in another way because of the divided attention so what is happening is your attention and energy is neither coming absolutely to the me part nor is it going to the that part it is always split it may find expression in several ways i will try to touch upon a couple of those things the first one is this i pay attention to someone because i want their attention and i pay attention to myself because someone is paying attention to myself i'll repeat this what is now presently happening is how our attention gets divided this is one of its expressions one of its fundamental reason is that i pay attention to someone because i want their attention and i am paying attention to myself because someone else is paying attention to me both are happening so this constant split of attention does not allow the attention and energy to gather into one either of those either to the me part or to the that part it never gets gathered onto one absolutely it continues to be split and divided and therefore the division will continue this happens in all the affairs of our life and unknowingly we drag it to our spiritual pursuit also see for example if you take uh, i made two statements if you take one of them that i pay attention to myself because someone else is paying attention to me this is happening all over the place for example if we when we call somebody as selfish and self-centered in the usual sense when we say he is too self-centered do you mean to say that he is absolutely paying attention on himself he is not he is concerned about what all others are thinking about him he maintains a particular lifestyle because his image in others eyes has to be maintained in a particular way he follows a particular lifestyle he maintains a particular lifestyle so as to match up to the society's levels and his neighbors or whatever his friends so why he is paying so much attention on himself on maintaining himself in a particular way is because so many people are looking at him this is a divided attention people will undergo so much stress they will undergo so much of troubles to maintain a particular lifestyle they'll eventually even uh, stress themselves uh, so much they'll even get a heart attack they'll go to a hospital and rip their heart open get a heart surgery you know once what happened i saw three people middle aged people talking to each other discussing about their heart operation all of them had some heart operation and they were discussing about their heart operation and the the theme of the discussion was that 
what they were trying to in that discussion was trying to say that my doctor was better my hospital was better my uh, medical arrangements were better my insurance was better they were trying to project that they were better equipped than the other they were their operation was the better than the other heart operation they have undergone a heart operation and even then their whole attention is not on them their attention is my operation is better than yours i went to this hospital so my status is maintained so it can go up to ridiculous levels so when you say somebody is self centered they are it's it's not that they are actually self centered they are actually self scattered they are not self centered if you are actually self centered if all your attention came upon yourself something would have happened out of it but now the attention is divided when we say self centered in the usual sense they are not actually self centered their attention is divided they are attending to themselves they are paying attention to themselves because someone else is paying attention to them someone else is looking and therefore they are looking at themselves and doing certain things with them if people would have actually paid absolute attention on themselves they would have become jnana yogis something would have happened out of it now if you look at the other statement that i made <coughs> that i pay attention to someone because i want their attention this also happens very often what will happen is uh you will assign importance to somebody because of whatever reason because somebody is popular because you think somebody is wise you think somebody is powerful or whatever means whatever qualities they may have your mind will assign importance to somebody you will uh have some respect for them whatever some importance is assigned to somebody but then it won't stop there many a times it may not stop there not with everybody but i am just pointing out a possibility now that person is very important now if i get that person's attention i will become important uh two minutes glory very quick way so what they will try to do is they will somehow try to stick out they will somehow try to get the attention of that person they will somehow try to uh, come in their purview and if it doesn't happen in pleasant ways sometimes people may even go to the extent of doing it in ugly ways that's what you see sometimes that uh somebody considers some film actor as great and uh, they want to get their attention and it is not so easy to get the attention of the film actor and so they will go in front of their house and do absurd things and get their attention somehow see now here the point that i'm making is that person did not say i am important come and fall at my feet and do this to me do that to me they didn't say anything you said they are important and now if that important person pays attention to me i will become important the attention is divided if you had absolutely paid attention to something if you had paid absolute attention to something and got overwhelmed by it you will forget yourself and you are no more there you will not uh, you know sit and wonder what he is thinking about me what uh, uh, what he opinion he has about me all this will never happen the moment it goes there it's a complicated tv serial the drama is continuing if you had paid absolute attention to something or someone and if you had forgotten yourself in it if you had let that overwhelm you that is also fine and no there is no more a split there is no more a division left there that overwhelms you and you are no more there once what happened is uh, a man came to ramana maharshi and uh, he said the path that uh, the method that you preach of self inquiry does not appeal to me and uh, i am a devotee of vishnu so is that good enough and ramana maharshi replied yes that is fine you carry on with it no problem and the man asked then does it mean that uh, when i die i will go to vaikuntha vishnu's place and ramana maharshi said yes and now the man got a little excited and he said uh, will i see vishnu there and ramana maharshi said yes you will see and the man man got more excited will, will vishnu look at me and ramana maharshi said yes man will look uh, vishnu will look at you and now the man asked what will he tell me what will vishnu tell me ramana maharshi said he will tell you find out who you are find out what you are 
Now what is happening here is why that happened that way is if you are calling Vishnu, your Lord has come in front of you and if that does not overwhelm you, that does not make you forget yourself and you are still thinking what Vishnu is thinking about me, will he look at me, will he pay special attention to me and uh, what he will do to me. If you are going through all this, your attention is again split. I am there and Vishnu is there. And therefore the answer was if Vishnu doesn't overwhelm you, if Vishnu doesn't get rid of your division that you have within you, uh, then at least pay full attention on yourself. Do one of them at least. No, either pay full attention on yourself, forget about God, and you, or if you want to uh, go into bhakti and devotion path, and don't wonder what will God think of me, whether God will look at me, whether God will get angry on me. Don't go in all this. The path of devotion is meant just to overwhelm you with it. If the, the attention again goes on, continues to be split, again uh, the div division will not vanish. Again then the, the purpose of div div devotion will not be fulfilled. So what is presently happening with people is they are neither there nor here. They are neither completely paying attention to that part nor are they completely paying attention to the me part. And therefore the attention is divided and both continue. Both continue and the drama continues. We can see this happening uh, very <coughs> obviously in the case of a guru. If you read the stories you will see this. If there is a student and if the student has this tendency of uh, you know, trying to have this divided attention that he thinks the guru is great but he wants guru's, at guru's attention. You know, he wants to somehow stick out and he wants Guru to praise him and whatever. Guru to look at him nicely and tell you are very nice and this, whatever. He wants the Guru to make him important now. When the Guru realizes this is happening, the spiritual master will deliberately ignore such, such students. The more such tendencies are there in a student, the more will Guru ignore such people. Only when the Guru realizes that this tendency is not there, only then they may pay attention. Otherwise, you know, attention from the Guru itself may boost your ego. The division may continue. My individual will become much more strong now because I am getting the attention of the Guru and so many other complications. Among many students, if one student gets attention, now other students will think now Guru is giving special attention to them. He is not giving attention to us. The same TV drama serial will continue. If, uh, you know, if the teacher does not overwhelm you, if you are more concerned about what the teacher thinks of you, if the divided attention continues, uh, then the serial continues, the drama will continue. So Guru, Deity, God, these are all tools meant for you to dissolve yourself, meant for you to get overwhelmed by them, not for you to continue the, uh, this uh, split of attention saying they are great and therefore now I want their attention. This happens in a very subtle way without our, without our knowledge. I pay attention to myself because someone is paying attention to me or I pay attention to someone because I want them to pay attention to me. Both happen in many ways. There is another way in which the divided attention may continue. I will continue that in the next video.